Hey there, Virgo. Happy Valentine's Day. This is your Valentine's Day check-in along with your mid-month reading. So really quickly, Virgo, we're going to just pull a few cards to see what your Valentine's Day message is. And then we'll do the rest of your mid-month. I'll also pull additional cards um, to see where you're at with a couple signs. Whoever you may be interested in, paired up with. And it's just going to be a general overall. Wow, someone's not looking forward to Valentine's Day, huh? Ooh, someone's ready to speak their truth. Um, I feel that some of you guys may have um, someone coming in who wants to speak with you who's been carrying a lot of weight but every time that they try to come in and talk to you um, it ends up in a being in a fight a disagreement they're um it's like they're saying they want to clear the air they want to get a lot off their chest in hopes that this is going to clear some karma or help them move forward however slowly it may be uh, I feel that they're trying to make some changes with their life or you, vice versa. And yet they have like this nagging feeling of being unable to fully release or let go of any bad vibes, bad energy that may still be attached to this connection um, to you. I feel like there is no communication here for some of you. And so I like what's coming through is... Anytime your name comes up or someone with a similar name, it's like it leaves a bad taste in, in their mouth and they just can't continue this way. So I feel like they're going to want to try and reach out, try to make amends. But in reality, I feel like either you aren't ready to hear from them or they're not ready to hear what you have to say. And it's like, all right, you want to come in, you want to speak, you want to say your truth, sure. Right after I'm done with you. And by then you're just like, never mind, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look the other way. Or vice versa. Remember, this is a general reading. These messages can resonate however it may be. Apply it to your situation. But I do feel that it's kind of like this situation of maybe someone from your past or this is a current relationship that you're on again, off again. You haven't been getting along and it's like they, they fail to take responsibility for their actions. It's easier for them to uh, run and hide or pretend that, you know, that didn't just happen or maybe they'll get over it. Or maybe, you know, with enough time, I'll be able to come back in and sweet talk them. Or maybe if I just pretend to be their friend again. And I feel like it, this is you, Virgo, ready to like tell them, hold the fuck up, right? I don't think so. You don't get to come back in like that, like nothing. So this could be for some of you. This can be for, I, I'm feeling, honestly, you guys, Mercury retrograde, we are in the shadow period. So don't be surprised if you do have an X or two trying to come back into the picture. Try to make amends. And you know what? If it's to make amends and move on and everybody lives a happily ever after separate life, do what you need to do, Virgo. Maybe this gets you, you know, a result that you want in return. I definitely feel that there's been some sort of anger and resentment and stress that's been held back. Maybe you're not aware of what they've been going through or they're not aware that you're just not interested in, you know, rekindling anything or communicating anything. Um, definitely with this three of wands, I feel that you've already been there, done that, moved on with your life, however slow it may have been. It's like you created your own justice and just kept moving forward. You're like, I'm, I'm moving forward and I'm not looking back. And at the same time, this person may be feeling like, you know what, maybe if I make amends, maybe if I, you know, finally get all these 10 of wands off my back, off my chest, off, you know, it will clear a path. And, you know, if you're the cross watcher for Virgo or however this resonates with you, vice versa, you just might need to have to hear it and take it, absorb it. Not where you're going to, you know, be miserable for the rest of your life, but, you know, accountability, do what you need to do to keep moving forward. Do what's right for you and for whatever you need to do to 
you know, make amends. Because I do feel that, yeah, someone's been contemplating and over contemplating how, you know, they're reminiscing how things used to be, how, how was it last Valentine's Day and this Valentine's Day we're not together, um, how was it previous Valentine's Days, um, you know, I really wish I had the opportunity to make this happen this time to make up for lost time see it's like they come back in saying you know what i've been thinking about everything i know where i went wrong i'm getting my footing i'm getting myself together again i'm getting it together here i'm going to show you how much i've changed i'm going to show you how much i've progressed and they're going to come in and communicate that to you so some of you may not be ready and willing and open to it but some of you may want to others of you i think you're just afraid that they're going to do the same shit as before right like okay let me just come in and say everything that i need to say to get virgo on my good side but i'm only going to give them kibbles and then breadcrumb and go on to the next one you know and then maybe just come and hook up and make her feel all happy pretend we're going to get married and have this new beginning and celebrate and there it is so it leaves Virgo pissed off, right? Ready to cut a bitch with that queen of swords energy. So for some of you, that's a good thing. For others of you, I feel that I feel that some of you just need to shut the door completely. And this will help you to release any type of energy that may have stayed behind from previous relationships or you know connections that maybe you want to no longer think about or associate yourself with so yeah virgo what's up with that that's your valentine's day energy <laughs> i was not expecting that for some of you guys but okay so thank you guys for stopping by welcome thank you for returning those of you that are my subscribers if you're new to me welcome i hope that didn't scare you off i am gonna pull some energy cards uh romance angels oracle cards from uh let's see today's the 11th so from the 11th to, through the 29th and uh, we'll clarify that I'm just, I'm not going to do singles and couples in terms of pulling different romance angels like I normally do with my monthly. So if you haven't caught my regular February monthly reading, it's General Love Life. I will link it up here somewhere so you can check that out. And um, I'm going to just do a regular love energy for now until the end of the month. And then I'm going to pull um, energies for whatever sign you are dealing with okay so virgo sun moon rising and venus signs happy valentine's day i hope that the start of this month has gone great and i hope that chemistry for some of you i hope that mercury retrograde hasn't already gotten you know intertwined in all of your you know romantic life forgiving and learning for some of you so some of you do need to do some forgiving and learning with this opening you know uh, reading that we had here. I feel that some of you um, have have met someone that you have very good chemistry with. I'm connecting the dots right now. Um, you have very good chemistry with. However, although you may not see it or realize it, there is still some forgiving and learning that needs to take place with this old relationship so that you can just, you know, move on. I don't know why I heard skedaddle, whatever that means to someone. Maybe that means something to someone. Sometimes I say things that I don't normally have in my vocabulary, but that meant something to someone. So it is safe for you to love my Virgo friends. Oh yes. Yeah. See, I'm telling you somebody here has met someone that they've got a major attraction to chemistry, or you are about to meet someone, and there it is, forgiving and learning. I'm telling you guys, the sooner that you forgive past situations, learn from it, the more you will realize that it is safe for you to love. Whoever this person is you have chemistry and attraction with, I mean, it's an awesome connection. It can go somewhere, but not if this type of energy is keeping you stagnant stagnant emotionally mentally physically whatever it may be in your love life apply it to your situation not all virgos are going through the same thing i get it that's why the reading won't resonate with everyone 
So let's see. Let's clarify this. This is for February 11th through the 29th for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Their love life. Tell me more about their love life, please. And there is the Seven of Swords again. Guys, King of Pentacles, the Tower card. You may be dealing with the... Um, Let's see, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Generally, I associate that with the Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that's Scorpio. That's generally Cancer. I associate it with um, Scorpio. There it is again, Queen of Cups. A lot of blue. The Devil card wanted to pop out there. So some of you are dealing with Capricorn and some of you are dealing with um, Scorpio. There's Taurus, Knight of Pentacles. Ugh. Four of Swords. It's like you're at the point of saying enough of this shit. Leave me alone. Me time. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. There you are, my lovely Virgos. And there you are speaking your truth again. That is a this is a different deck. Similar cards. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Those are repeated cards. Let me move this up a little bit. So it is safe for you to love attraction and forgiving and learning. Yes, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, which is true, right? You've met someone new, or maybe you've already been seeing someone totally dig them, attracted to them, uh, major chemistry, you guys are totally in sync, you're like, where have you been all my life, that type of thing, I've known you for a while, or you feel very connected with this person, if you don't fret, if you haven't met this person yet, I do feel like they're on their way, but for some of you, this person has not come in yet, because you still need to do the forgiving and learning, right? You still need to release whatever it is that you may be holding on to. And if you are not, understand that someone else's energy of being unable to release themselves from energetic or karmic ties that the two of you had, you know, that's also something that you may be carrying. So if you're not the one holding on to like old shit, past stuff, hidden secrets, things that are about to be revealed. I feel that this is with, you know, you may have had a relationship at one point with someone that you, there was a lot hidden from you. And when it came out, boy, did it come out. And I also, I also heard you didn't even get all the info, all the juicy details from the get go. As time went on and you were healing and you were thinking you're healed, I've taken the time to do me, I'm moving forward, I'm you know, gonna rebalance my energy here and heal myself emotionally, start moving forward, do my meditation, do my breaks, cut people out that needs to be cut out and start moving forward. And from now on, I'm no longer gonna hold back, I'm gonna speak my truth. And the more time went on, the more you felt healed, guess what? The more information you received, the more you started to realize, holy shit, I know you guys, I know. I said I wasn't going to cuss anymore and I'm sure someone just said, what happened to not cussing anymore? I'm, I tried, I tried. Sometimes things just come out that way. Um, but I feel that the more time went on, uh, whether you did a little digging or somebody else did for you and started finding things out and... You started discovering more and more, the more you realized, who was this person? Who was I with? How did I not see this? Why am I finding out about this a year later, two years later, months later, whatever it may be? I feel that Virgos, you guys are in a good place. And so when this person comes in, you're like, no, get away. I'm strong. I'm, I'm doing good. I've moved forward. Don't bring that old energy back in. I'm not interested in their life. Exactly how you meet them. Exactly how you're meeting them with this energy here. They want to come back in. This is a repeated card. It came out in the other, in the other deck. 
They want to come back in and tell you, you know, I know where I went wrong. I'm in a much better place. They want to come at you like they're the king of pentacles, but really they're only a page. And you're like, nah, nah, not going to happen. You caused me enough nightmares and misery. Keep on moving. Keep on moving, right? You guys, I thought this was a love reading. <laughs> But it feels like it's a clearing reading, which is awesome and amazing because guess what? If you've got shit you need to let go of, even if you feel like I'm over them, I don't even think about them anymore. Why are you bringing this up? This isn't healthy. I've already moved on. You know what, Virgo? If you're in that space, awesome. Congratulations. There are a lot of other Virgos that are still trying to catch up to you. And then there are other Vir Virgos that are way past where you're at. We're all on different levels, all on different journeys. And so it's always great to let other people know where you're at on your journey, that things will get better. There may be some revelations that might be a little painful, whether to you or you to them. But stay in your energy, Virgo. Absolutely stay in your energy. Speak your truth. And with the words you speak, imagine yourself cutting the ties away from that energy with that sword say what you gotta say the end thank you goodbye next thank you next that's what i'm gonna title this <laughs> you're like next because i got me someone new i met someone that i was a little weary or sketchy about at first because of all the old shit that i went through but now i know that's not always going to happen Right. So some of you may be at like this position of being in a stalemate. You're like, I know what I want, but I feel like I can't move forward. I'm holding on too tightly to my pentacles, to what I have to offer. Don't. This is why you have this card. This is why you have this card. It is safe for you to love. Right. Yes, there needs to be forgiving and learning of past issues, past partnerships, whatever energy you may be holding on to. Even if you're not, don't get mad at me, Virgo. Even if you're not, whether you realize it or not, there may be others from your past that are still mad, sad, pissed, whatever you want to call it, fill in the blank. That things didn't work out, things, you know, that you're not still together, that how dare you be happy, how dare you move on like nothing, how dare you, you know, Virgos, I mean, say it with me, honey. Our cutoff game is strong, right? See, Virgos will be like this. The most nurturing, loving, understanding, I got you. Just talk to me. Let me know what's up. I'm here for you. You need a break. You want to do this. You want to do that. Okay, just keep me in the loop. Communicate. That's what I need. Communicate. Don't do this shady shit behind my back. Let me know what's up. And I can be loving and nurturing and caring. I can help you while doing myself, while taking care of myself and my family and my friends and my job and whatever else Virgo has going on. But see, that's where some people go wrong because Virgo gets taken advantage of. And after the millionth time of being nice and understanding, they're like, done, fed up. That causes a tower moment in other people's lives. Am I right? Put a little hand up amen in the comments. For a Virgo to be done, done done, it means they've given you more than enough chances to come clean, to talk to you, to fix things, to say what you got to say. So if they're done done, that means they close the chapter on you, whether you were ready to close it or not. Because they got to do themselves. They got to keep moving forward. They're not going to let anybody hold them back. So Virgo, this is either you going through this or you are going through this with someone else. Or this is the Virgo cross watcher who needed to hear this energy. So somebody here needs some healing. Whether it's Virgo or their cross watcher. Whomever it may be. Let me have a heal yourself oracle for them. Apply it to your situation. Some people 
need to heal their inner child. Why? Because they've been carrying past trauma, past pain, child abuse, some very harsh abusive energy from childhood that unfortunately stopped them from growing or evolving or maturing in a way where their response or reaction or inaction, right? What happens when a child gets scared? If they cower and they like hide, they're afraid to reveal themselves. So you're either dealing with someone who comes back at you with a tantrum, who's yelling, who won't listen, who's like argumentative, or you're dealing with someone who is just going to pretend like, you know what, I'm really mad and I'm not going to say anything and they'll be passive aggressive. They'll hide in their little hole for a while. They won't talk to you. They'll do whatever the heck they want to do. Pretend like everything's all cool when they come back in. But you're like, whoa, no, uh-uh. That's not going to happen on my watch, right? So that is important for some of you. Now I'm going to pull some untold truths of the heart because I do feel whether it's Virgo or their cross watcher, there, there is something here with no communication. So for those Virgos or their cross watchers, if you're a Virgo not communicating with this person, not in communication, or if this is the cross watcher not in communication with Virgo, <laughs> avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away. Didn't I just say that? With the inner child card, right? It's too many cards. Rejection did come out. Irrational fear saying no. They, they may have not come forward to speak with you because they were afraid that you would reject anything that they may have wanted to talk about or open up to you about. Sorry, guys, I got to make sure I turn this off. So someone here was left shattered, completely heartbroken. They are longing for some form of communication, rekindling. Um... Some, there is a connection here where it feels like this is a past life connection. This is a karmic lesson. They're longing to reconnect with you. Things were left in a very harsh way. It's killing them to see you move forward. I also feel that someone here may be keeping an eye on you, Virgo. Especially if, you, you know... You're the cross watcher. Obviously, you're keeping an eye on what's going on with Virgo, right? Oh, dear. Okay, let's move on from this. I'm going to pull some energies with who, whatever sign you may be dealing with. Virgo and all the signs. Got it? Let me grab a different deck. I was really trying not to make these too long so I can get them to you in time for Valentine's Day. So let's see, Virgo, hang on a second, I gotta turn off my phone. All right guys, sorry about that. All right guys, Virgo, Virgo dealing with an Aquarius, mid-February, February 11th through the 29th. Eight of Cups, someone here is definitely walking away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's trying to keep you from walking away. Vir apply it to your situation. I don't want to keep going back and forth saying Virgo or their cross watcher or whoever they're dealing with. But if you're dealing with an Aries, right? There's that Aries card. They are a very, you know, controlling, angry, unstable Aries, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Virgo and Aries, you're ready to walk away. Someone here is definitely ready to walk away. They can no longer take the tantrums, the fits, the controlling nature, the jealousy, possessiveness. Ooh, that's a no. Uh-uh. 
Virgo and the Taurus, Virgo and Taurus combination, Seven of Wands. Ooh, what is up, Virgo? If you didn't catch your 2020 yearly forecast, I'll link it up here, somewhere up here. Where's my finger? There it is. <laughs> um, it really was centered on love, which I was not expecting it. So I felt that for Virgos, your focus was on reestablishing or stabilizing your love life. But man, this is some crazy energy. Okay, so Virgo and Taurus, maybe not getting along. Someone got kicked out of the house. Not like, you're just at odds. Not, I mean, the King of Cups came out. So I just heard you, there may be some interference here or they have water in your chart. You have water in your chart. Someone's holding their feelings back. Okay, so... If you just met a Taurus and you opened up to them right away, it's almost as though, ooh, you got cooties, I'm pushing you away, and then you're feeling left out in the cold, like you, you feel like you moved a little too fast, okay? Or they feel like you may have. But if this is someone that you've been with, that's for those of you that just met someone. If, if this is someone that you've been with for a while, there's way too much defensive energy, a lot of hidden emotions here, anger, sadness um yeah this feels like mm -hmm, someone's got some like a gambling problem a drinking problem just instability altogether emotionally let's move on to gemini virgo and gemini couples virgo and gemini couples high priestess okay um, if you're afraid that there are secrets that you're unaware of, honey, take the blindfold off. You already know what the red flags are. I, I, I can tell you right now, you already know what the red flags are. I feel like Virgo, you're in tune with your intuition. If there are things that make you feel uneasy or unstable, like shit's just not adding up with my Gemini here, you're pointing things out and they're not happy about it. Especially with those of you that have a very strong intuition. I need to pull one more, I don't like that. Yeah. So there's some, you know, hidden stuff here. I also feel that if you are calling this person out on their bullshit, on, you know, whatever it is that you feel they should be doing, I feel like that your Gemini isn't doing enough to progress the connection or the relationship. And when you point it out to them, like, yo, you know, maybe we should be here. Maybe, what do you mean we don't have plans for Valentine's Day? We've been dating or seeing each other for a while. What? You, you know? And, and it's like they, they kind of cower away and they're like, yeah, I'm about to skip out of this because she's holding me accountable or he's holding me accountable and I can't take that. They're not ready to move it forward. Virgo and Cancer combination Virgo cancer okay there it is so if you are interested in a cancer either you or they are keeping an eye on you right they're spying they're checking up on you seeing what's going on what what are you up to they're not opening up to you at all at all I feel like some of you may have a cancer stalker like you have no idea I mean look at that that side eye view with that king of cups right there. Look at that side eye. Let me see. I know. That's a hard way to maybe zoom in on that. You see his eyes right there. That side eye view. Yeah. Whether you realize it or not, that person's been keeping an eye on you, keeping tabs on you. You know, you've got a little secret admirer or stalker here with a cancer. Be careful. Let me pull one more. What's up with this cancer's energy being a little stalkerific here? Why are they being a stalker? Too many cards. Why are they being a stalker? <laughs> Cock 
competition, baby. If they know you're interested in someone else, someone who's more stable than you, than them, right? It's causing nightmares. It's like, let me keep an eye on this relationship, on this connection, especially if you're with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, and they're just like, I'm waiting for it to fall apart. It's bound to fall apart. It's going to fall apart, right? Virgo and Leo. Oof. Virgo. Oh my God, you guys. What? What is going on with my fellow Virgos? You guys are scaring me. Seriously. Okay, so I'm going to spin this two ways. If you're dealing with a Leo, just met a Leo, dating someone, maybe it's been off and on with a Leo. The message I'm getting here is they finally woke the fuck up and realized you're their 10 of cups or vice versa. Virgo, you finally woke up and realized, holy shit, I wrecked this connection. I wrecked this relationship. They're my 10 of cups. I also feel that there is a huge, huge struggle here. Whether you or them trying to maintain, create this Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, it's it's just been sitting hangman mode, thinking and overthinking, trying to figure out a way to get to your Ten of Cups. So, sorry guys, that is crazy. Others of you, well, that's just, just falling apart because someone can't move forward. Someone's just in hangman mode. They don't... They, it's like they say they want to move forward, but you're not seeing the action. And you're just like, mm, nah. Again, thank you, next. So Virgo dealing with a Virgo. Virgo dealing with the Virgo. Oh my goodness, too many cards. The moon, the queen of wands, the empress, the king of swords. Wow, that's a whole other story. So Virgo dealing with the Virgo page of cups. Aw. Virgo dealing with the Virgo. You guys are thinking about talking about, you know, imagining, imagining forward movement together. What would our future be like? We get along so great. We can we can be a power couple. That's what I heard here. We two Virgos together. Okay, so that's good and bad. Let me tell you, Virgo. I dated a Virgo a long time ago, so that's good and bad, right? Right. Because unfortunately, you guys know each other's downfalls all too well, and it can be hard to get out of each other's heads. So come to an agreement that you guys will be able to pull each other, pull yourselves or each other out of your own funk when that happens and you guys are golden virgo and libra couples dealing with the libra Ooh, hold up all right some of you may have ended a karmic cycle with a libra i also feel that this is a much needed lesson you may have had recently you learned a lot. It caused a lot of heartache, depression. You're still thinking back. Um, I feel this is like Virgo male thinking back. Or this is the male thinking back of the Virgo because it's like, oh, Virgo's, you know, so freaking awesome and amazing. How can I screw this up? It was a karmic lesson. For those of you that dealt with a Libra or are, you know, at the ends of dealing with a Libra, it was a karmic lesson, honey. Learn from it, forgiving and learning, and move on. Um, Virgo and Scorpio, Virgo and Scorpio connections, couples. I know I get a lot of Virgo Scorpio couples in my readings. Soulmate energy. What? So Scorpio sees you. Okay. That came out earlier. Scorpio sees you like you're their soulmate. There's like this, you know, connection between the two of you. Uh, however, I feel regretful energy with this. You have two sixes. Like if only I would have done more. If only I would have given more. If only I would have just, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it was that, you know, Miss Virgo, Queen of Pentacles wanted or Mr. Right? Yeah, I'm feeling a sense of regret with that, with that, um, with that Six of Pentacles and Scorpio and Virgo. You guys love each other. 
Virgo and Sagittarius. There's a lot of love here with Virgo and Scorpio energies. So Virgo and Sagittarius. What? Two of Cups. Uh, what? Now Virgo and Sagittarius are going to be having some real good hot fun times over Valentine's Day. <laughs> That is some very, very amazing bonding, <laughs> bonding energy, right? A lot of love, respect, mutual respect, joy, happiness. You guys, Virgo, Sagittarius, you guys are going to have an amazing rest of this month. Wish fulfillment. Things are falling into place for you guys. I feel like you guys feel like you have definitely connected on a higher level. That's awesome. Virgo and Capricorn. What is up with the Virgo and Capricorn connections or couples? That's what the third time the Page of Pentacle comes out. This is an idea, an offer, the very beginnings of wanting to set something in stone, wanting to make it known that, hey, I want this to be for the long haul. I see a future with you. I see this connection going somewhere. Um, you know, right now it may be like hangman mode, right? It's not moving forward. Someone's taking a break here. It may be due to family issues, children, exes, baby mamas. If someone's going through a divorce, whether the Virgo or the Capricorn, someone's going through the divorce here or a separation, it can also be business matters, financial matters. It's like they know you're the connection for them, but they just got to, you know, get all their ducks in a row before they come back in and say, all right, now I'm ready to move forward. Now, some of you Virgos might, might not be wanting to wait, but that's just how it is. Virgo and Aquarius couples, connections, couples connections. Okay. Yeah. The end. So Virgo and Aquarius, right? You have the world card. So for some of you, this is a final ending. This is completion. For others of you, it's successful communication, success in starting over again, you know, connecting once again, moving on to the next chapter, the next phase of your life. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. For some of you, please don't feel terrible if you've got something good going on with an Aquarius this is not for you we've got two major ending cards here page of wands is usually someone with good news right so I feel like someone may come in and say you know what I finally did it I finally got my shit together I finally, you know, got myself out of debt. I finally got myself back together again. I know I wasn't in a good place before. And I feel like I'm I'm in a good place to come back. And they get met with that ten of swords like too late. Too bad, so sad. And last but not least, Virgo and Pisces couples. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Temperance and four of pentacles. Okay, all right. Someone's holding on to their money. I feel like someone here is like a workaholic. Well, it's probably the Virgo, but Virgo or Pisces, it's all about money. So they're slowly but surely getting their finances back in order. They could see that, you know, beautiful crown at the end of the road. They, they already know how they're going to get there, what needs to happen. It's very heavy and burdensome. And so they're holding on to as much as they possibly can, whether to make this relationship a success or if this is a connection where things aren't going the greatest well it's harboring that child support money it's like not reporting all the money yeah so if you do if you are dealing with a pisces maybe child support or some type of connection that way like a virgo owes you money pisces owes you money there's you may be going to court soon you may have to redo some things here in regards to money because someone's holding back and it's causing another person um, heaviness. So, yeah, it's about work, making it work together, money, living happily ever after together or separate, whatever works for you. And to close out this reading, my lovely Virgos, I'm going to pull Whispers of Love Oracle messages. 
and I want to leave you guys with a love note. Okay, so this is going to be love energies for my beautiful Virgos. Let me have some love note messages for my Virgo friends. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Agreed. Oop, those went flying. Quite a few. That's too many. Okay. Two more, please. Have faith, Virgo. Trust your faith in this situation. We got a lot of crazy energies here. Virgo, have faith. Trust your situation. Trust your faith in this situation that it will all work out. Look at this. No coincidence that it's nothing but beautiful butterflies, right? Telling you that things are changing. Things are evolving. Things are transforming. You may not see it right away, but it is for your highest good. You have to trust the process. Trust in the divine, divine timing. And let me see the last card down here. Beautiful. You are limitless, Virgo. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to. You choose to do. Well, that is your mid-month bonus Valentine's Day reading, my Virgo friends. I absolutely hope that you guys get out of this funky mess that some of you might may be in. Others of you have some great connections that you've got going on. Some of you just need to, you know, trust the process, have some patience, have faith. I know, I just heard right now, but why can't, why, why do I need to wait? Why do I, like, if you meet someone, if you know someone and we're, you know, doing good, why aren't they ready? You have to have faith and trust the process. They might be going through some shit you don't know about. You may be soon going through something that you don't know is coming towards you. You know, there's a lot here. Above all, if you do have some old energies, past energies that are affecting you, your heart chakra, your romantic life, please do some meditation work, do some healing work, rebalance yourself, go out there, get grounded, meditate, 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 self-care, self-love, love yourself so that others will know how to love you back. All right, my Virgo friends, happy Valentine's Day. I wish you guys all the best for a wonderful February. We'll see you guys in March. Take care. Bye.